You know, the gift of cure is different from the gift of healing. Cure is simply the elimination of all traces of illnesses and disease. But God offers us His gift of healing, which is something deeper, which is something transformative. In my more than five years of Pauline priest in ministry, many personally thanked me because their healing intentions were granted by the Lord. Father Pao, thank you very much for praying for me and praying with me because I'm already now cancer-free and now I can go back to work and serve my family. Father, thank you because my uh, broken relationship with my estranged husband is already okay and now we are complete. Many personally thanked me because their healing intentions were granted but many also express their seeming disappointment, discouragement, and even disillusionment and despair and desolation because their intentions were not granted by the Lord. I recall this uh, patient, you know, a dying patient in the hospital, and she asked me, Father, does God play favorites? How come I do not receive the gift of cure? I'm a good person. Why do bad things happen to good people like me? Does God play favorites? How should we perceive the gift and the challenge of God's healing? Above all, healing is gift. It's a grace from God. And different aspects of the healing of a person, physical healing, emotional healing or psychological healing, spiritual healing, healing of memories, healing of relationships, and even financial healing. It is above all a gift and a grace from God. You know, the gift of cure is different from the gift of healing. Cure is simply the elimination of all traces of illnesses and disease. But God offers us His gift of healing, which is something deeper, which is something transformative. It is not just simply the healing of our body, but the healing of our mind, our soul, our spirit, the healing of our entire person. It is above all gift. Second, healing is also a choice. It's a decision that we have to make. We cannot ask God to guide us in our footsteps without us willingly moving our feet. As what St. Augustine would say, God created us without our consent, but God can never save us. God can never heal us. God can never make us whole once again without our cooperation. It takes two to tangle. And finally, healing is also a journey. It's a pilgrimage. It's a process. There are times that the healing miracles of our Lord Jesus Christ they were automatic, but other miracles, they underwent a ritual, a process, a journey. Sometimes in our life, the healing process is uh, more painful than the wound itself. That is why we have to ask the Lord, the good Lord, to grant us the grace of patience. I recall this uh, psychological uh, journal in psychology, it says there, wounds heal not the way we want them to be healed, but the way they need to be healed. It takes time for wounds to turn into scars. We need that grace of patience, patience with God and patience with ourselves.